You ready, Noah? I think Ariel already took off for the palace. Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in. Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius. Melridge. Noah. Pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Mm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel.
time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yeah! To battle! What? A second force? Where the hell did they come from? There's the tactician signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, Second Lieutenant. <laughs> what with me? Charge! Withdraw! Pull the troops back and be quick about it! Yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Are we ready? Oh, yeah. She's in a great mood today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. Treat. I'll have you be quiet there, thank you. At last, some damn order! Now form up and prepare for the next! If 
You have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel. Then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost, but to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand, and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent, and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! <sighs> Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it. Now, we return to Haishan triumphant! Importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah. Even I've heard of the guy, so I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who are those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the Royal Treasury and more that was earmarked for the Studium and Archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. 
But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. But these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. Uh, this is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes, that's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them? I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace. <laughs>